Good afternoon, you guys. Today is day 55. It is March 28th, 2023. Let's get started on our walk and talk for today. And I have decided that yes, today is going to be a triple day. I am not taking a chance with April 3rd. Now, the one thing that I did forget to do was I forgot to bring out that paper. Okay, so let me go get that and I'll be right back. Okay, you guys, I am back. Um, it is very windy outside. We had a storm come through last night. You guys, oh my gosh, I could smell and taste the dirt in my house. And um, I am out here late, but I am here. Okay, so we're gonna get up to speed four. All right, we're up to speed four. And let me fix this jacket because um, I like this jacket. This is my husband's jacket and I cannot find the little zipper thingy on here. Okay, yeah, I think it broke off. So we'll just leave it like this. Um, it's, it's warm enough, I'm okay. Okay, so um, yes, out here late. I know, I know what I said, especially in the second video that I made in the evening yesterday that I would be out here first thing in the morning, but um, I obviously am not. So what happens? Um, let's just say I had kind of like my own little type of party thing. So yeah, um, and that led to a headache. <laughs> I'll just keep it at that. Sometimes I'm a bit too honest, right? So we'll just we'll go into detail. All right. So yes, we're going to knock out the third. Um, April third is day sixty-one, and it's supposed to make up for day seventy-one, which is April thirteenth. And like I said, for some reason, I just I don't see myself having access to my treadmill that day, and I could be wrong. And like I said, easy fix. If I do then it'll just make up for one of the other double days that happens later on in the month. Okay, so uh, for April. First thing I wanna talk about is something that I already have made some videos and some shorts about, and I feel like I may already have talked about this. Um, <clears throat> excuse me. Probably because I've shared the story with some family members and friends. And so I think I already mentioned that I have a video about it. Then nah, I didn't too much care for how it came out. Um, that was like the first day that my phone was making a kind of like static noise, or like a recording. And no matter how many times we started recording and stopped, it just kept making that noise. And then I think I told you guys, I discovered for some reason that I had to take off the back piece of the case of my phone because I have a seat full too. So, the case is in two pieces, and that solved that issue. But at the time, I did not know. So for a little while after that, I would record, and you could hear that static, but that's what that was. Okay, so hopefully it's okay, and it's not you know doing crazy focus and all that other stuff, because I believe I have the mic turned on for zooming in for when I'm talking. And then of course, when I stop, it's gonna go back to its regular, I, don't, I guess you can say focus, and so hopefully, um, I've been, been pretty lucky that it hasn't been focusing in and out lately. Okay, so um, I think I'm gonna keep the setting on. But first, we will talk about Hawaii. Like I said, sorry if I already actually did a walk and talk about it. And I know that I made shorts, but there were some things that I left out um, that I might've mentioned bits and pieces throughout other videos within the past two weeks. Okay, so we're gonna go from start to finish. And I don't know, you guys, that's so crazy because I feel like I've already actually did a walk and talk about this. I should have checked. Okay, so I'll try and make it quick because like I said, we have two more walks today. We're gonna be walking for um, a total of, here I go trying to add right now. <laughs> uh, 
we won't even go there because if I mess up on the minutes, I'm going to have to edit and put a correction above my head and I don't want to do that. Okay, so um, we're at four minutes and two seconds. All right, so you guys, the week of us going to Hawaii was this past November and my allergies were acting mad crazy. Um, it was like, no, you think you're going somewhere? And I'm thinking, yes, because everything is paid for. Watch me. There's a thing called allergy medicine. Okay, and like I said, I'm not back on my prescription allergy medicine. I've been doing pretty good, but for some reason, it just happened like that. As a matter of fact, it's so crazy because every time we go to uh, Vegas, I actually get sick before. So I don't know what that's about because usually I'm not like that on other trips. So I found that Hawaii ended up being the same. So literally the day before we went, I had to go to the doctor. And I got put on Flonase and uh, Tylenol. And then he said that he wanted to keep me off of cough medicine. So um, I wasn't really coughing, of course, until after I saw him. And then the coughing started. So yeah, that was really annoying. But you guys, I was all, all messed up. Um, I have different outbreaks. Um, my eczema is no longer one of my bigger uh, skin problems. So, um, yeah, had a little outbreak with a band aid going on with that. And I was like, I want to have this band aid on my shoulder. Why did it have to be on my shoulder, right? The entire trip. Now, we were supposed to come back from Hawaii, stay in Vegas, and then come home. So, we were supposed to go for or be gone for an entire two weeks. Okay, but it didn't happen like that. Okay, so um, I'm thinking that the reason why I'm remembering mentioning this is because I talked about Vegas and that trip, okay, from when we had came back from Hawaii. Like I said, we had to turn around and drive all the way back to Vegas. So that, maybe that might be why I'm, I'm remembering mentioning something about Hawaii. But anyway, um, next day comes, we get up, we get to the airport. I'm like, oh my gosh, I don't even know if they're going to let me on the plane because I'm trying not to cough, I'm trying not to sneeze, and I knew for a fact that I wasn't sick. Um, I believe they actually, yeah, they tested me for COVID, for uh, influenza 1 and 2, and for that HSV or whatever it's called, so they tested me for like five things and it was all negative, so that's also how I knew that I wasn't sick, at least not with like a cold type thing. So... I thought, all right, I'm just going to take the medicine, put it in my check bag, and uh, go from there. So we get to Vegas. That was the worst part about it, was that our connecting flight was in Vegas, which it was supposed to be. But like I said, we weren't actually supposed to be coming back until after we stayed the week in Vegas for Thanksgiving. So um, I'm sitting there thinking, wow. But I thought about it like almost the whole entire time we were gone, that we were going to have to come back and turn right back around, right? Um, and drive over to Vegas. So I'm sitting there, and you guys, I had lost part of my hearing in my right ear. As a matter of fact, I had lost the majority of my hearing in my right ear. So I had to tell my husband, okay, I can barely hear you out of my ear, this ear. And he said, okay. And I did a couple signs to him. I know people are probably thinking, I can hear her voice, I can hear her talking, why is she signing? And um, I'm not really great at it, but there's a couple things that I know a couple of things that he knows and some things that I've taught him. So that was just to get us by because I kind of felt like I was yelling since I couldn't hear how loud I was talking all the way. So we sat there, we ate, and we had, I don't know if it was like a two, almost a three hour way over. Okay, so we get on the plane, still can't hear out of one ear. And uh, we sit down next to this lady, and some people on the mask, some people did. She had on hers. And so I finally told her, you know, I'm not sick. I had the test run or whatever. It's just my allergies are really, really bad. And so I do have the paper to show that my results were negative. And so she's like, oh, no, no, it's okay. You know, it's that time of the year. And I was like, yes, yes, it is. So I was happy that she was really understanding because I felt so bad because by this time I was talking more. So um, before we took off, I had fallen asleep. And the flight attendants were walking back and forth, but there was one. She had on this perfume. And I won't say that, you know, it stunk. It just, it was strong. 
You guys, it was strong enough to wake me up out of my sleep. So I woke up coughing and choking. And so my husband was sitting next to the window and he was like, what's wrong? I said, do you smell that? What is that? Is that like some type of perfume? And so the lady next to me was like, yeah, I smell it. She goes, why do some people do that? They know people have allergies. And I was like, yes. And I thought, is she wearing some type of perfume that's a certain flower made from white? I, I don't know, I don't know what it is. It smells good, but it's very, very strong. And so, like I said, in the midst of me talking, I'm coughing and choking. And so, my husband pulled out my allergy medicine. It's just the Equate, let me tell you guys. The Equate, the non-drowsy 24-hour allergy and cold medicine from Walmart, oh my gosh. Especially if it has, like that, they have some type of coating on it that they put on it now so the pill's not as dry and so that slides down easier. Um, yeah, if you have allergies, if they work for me, okay? Um, I don't like taking medicine, and so I don't want to tell you to take it, but if you're like me, like, look, I gotta stop this or else it's gonna get worse, then and all I need is a cold on top of that, right? So, yeah, I seem to um, react well to it. So I'm waiting, waiting for it to kick in. And so, we pinpointed which one it was, and I mean, what are we gonna say? Here, take a cloth and wet it, do some something like wipe whatever, you know, perfume you sprayed on your neck or you sprayed it off. You know, what if she sprayed it on her clothes? So that was that because I stayed like that for, I don't know, probably like five, maybe 10 minutes. We didn't, we, for some reason, we didn't take off for a while. We just sat there on the plane. And they're new, like I said, Southwest up, max eight planes, they're nice. And so I'm like, okay, now this is adding to the fact that I'm sneezing and coughing, right? And as sniffling as I am up here, <clears throat> I came out here and turned this on. I was like, okay, um, it has to be on, like I said, for almost an hour for it to warm up. So when I was coming in and out of here, uh, of course it wouldn't start until I'm standing here. You know what I'm gonna do today? I think I'm gonna vacuum over here. That's what I forgot to do before I got up here. Um, oh, and I'm recording three times today, so maybe I'll do it before the second video. Okay, so we're 11 minutes and three seconds. So anyway, finally the smell goes away because it lingered, it lingered in the air. Um, you could taste it, it was so strong. So it finally goes away. I still can barely hear out of this ear. And so we take off and eventually of course here comes the water, right? Five hours across the water. So we're flying, we're talking to the lady, and we're having a good time. Um, I cough drops. Oh my gosh, there's this company that I get cough drops from and they stopped making their cough drops. I'm so sad because they work really well. And so I still have some left. So I was thinking, okay, it's almost like I was trying to ration them out simply because I know that they're not making them anymore. So we're flying and flying and flying. We finally get close to uh, Honolulu slash Waikiki, right? And I think the pilot had to surf around a couple of times. You guys, I felt like someone was taking a knife and like stabbing me in my face. And my head, my head just started to pound. And I was like, oh, and you know how like you see in like the movies or TV shows where the people are like, ah, oh, and they hear the loud pitch noise, which, you know, you can hear it. They um, play that noise, like for the movie or whatever. Okay, so I didn't hear that noise, but that's what it it felt like when you see them, you know, uh, scream like that and grab their face. So I remember hearing uh, a child say, mommy, mommy, why does my body hurt so much? And I was like, oh my gosh, I'm feeling this in my head, but this child is feeling this throughout their whole body. That's awful. Okay, because it really does feel like you're just being constantly stabbed over and over again, but in your face. Okay, I guess for her, for her body. And so, um, I don't know, pressure, something. I can't remember what someone told me they thought it might be. But yes, now that's going on on top of the fact that I still can barely hear out of one ear. And so, finally, we land. And it was so crazy because by the time we started to slow down, and I think, you know, at some point, it almost was like you stop, like you're going really slow, right? You guys, the flight attendant, I don't even know if she realized that the thing was pushed, but I think maybe she did. And she said really loud, like, phew, we made it. 
And I was like, we made it. Uh, was there a concern that we didn't know about? And so um, it was crazy because I remember my husband was telling me, okay, if they're coming in over water and the runway's not that long for them to land. Okay, so that's what she was referring to. Plus, oh my gosh, the fact that I don't know if we hit some turbulence going down, I think we did on top of that. And then also, we had a, I'm trying to remember if that was going or coming. I think going, we had a medical emergency on the plane. And I thought, they're gonna have to come to me next because still can't hear all this ear hardly. And um, like I said, allergies, uh, kicking my tail, right? And um, I, like I said, I was, when I say I was all jacked up, you guys, I was all jacked up. And we hadn't even, this is our first day, right? So we get out, we get our uh, carry-on stuff. You know, you have to use restroom, yes, okay. There's a part, depending on where you land, what airline you flew. Okay, we flew like the Southwest. You have to walk across and you get, you're like walking across the outside, but it's covered. And uh, there's a, a floor below. And I turned, you guys, I don't know what happened to this picture. I think I took two. It was the biggest, prettiest trees I've ever seen, the biggest leaves I've ever seen. You're probably thinking, you've never been to any place tropical, nothing. And so I was just in awe. I was like, oh my gosh, this is so pretty. And by this time, my glasses have magnetic clips, so I had to wear the magnetic clips. Um, yeah, I couldn't even stand the sunlight. And so, like I said, I have no clue what happened to those pictures. Maybe my husband took them the selfies with his phone. I don't know because they're not on mine. And so I was like, no, no, we gotta get the tree. So I thought I took a picture of this tree by itself and I can't find it. So we're walking, and right when you come across, you go in a little ways, and then there's the bathrooms like to the left. So I went ahead and went, he went, and then we saw uh, well, I saw the lady, but she didn't see me. She was already like coming out, and I had already walked past where she would have to go. So um, I heard her say my husband's name. I was like, oh, okay. Um, of course she recognized him. We sat on the flight together for like, what, five or six hours. And so um, I, I don't remember if she said that she had been there before, but you know, I heard them laughing and talking and stuff like that. So I guess she walked off. And so I went to her and came out still, you guys. And now it's almost kind of worse because I don't know if I felt like I had fluid in my ears or something like that too, but I just know that I really couldn't hear out of this ear. Okay, so I think I completely lost my hearing out of the side. So, I think I told him it's worse now, my hearing. And he says, okay. So we're walking around, we're looking where to go to get our check bags. And we had planned to rent a car for the first two days. But the first day that we got there, we got there pretty early. I mean, it was maybe one, two o'clock in the afternoon. And I think, I want to say, I probably should check this, but I believe Hawaii is about three hours behind mountain time. So it was kind of strange to be in a place where, you know, you go to Cali, right? Arizona, the places like that, um, that are on Pacific time and you're used to that hour difference, right? But three hours behind, like that was crazy, right? So um, he says, okay, we're gonna relax. We're gonna, you know, get some hot food in you and we're just gonna lay down and chill. This is why I wanted to get here early. I said, okay. So he ordered Popeyes. I love Popeyes. Ooh, you guys, side note, <laughs> it's about to be on, okay? Um, for my family that has been out here and friends that have come out here to visit, you guys, I think we're gonna Popeyes. Yeah, I think we are. Um, I don't know, I'ma see. I love Popeyes, and they need to bring the green beans back and quit playing, y'all. The green beans was good. And their biscuits, oh, everything goes quiet when I eat a Popeyes biscuit. I love Popeyes food, as you can tell. And uh, I don't know if I can too much too spicy anymore, the strips and the nuggets and stuff like that, but that's why they have the sauce. And their buffalo sauce is just as almost as spicy as your chicken, right? And I used to be able to have the spicy dip it in the sauce. Okay, we need to get back to the, to the Hawaii shrimp. I love Popeyes, I'm so excited. I really hope it is. Okay, so anyway, that's what we had. And um, it was, I want to say it was delivered. I don't remember him leaving. Usually when I get like that, he, he won't leave me. 
And so um, I was like, oh, it smells so delicious. I didn't care. You know how they say sometimes you think you might chew and your ear might pop and then you think, you know, hear again, but usually you haven't lost like the majority of or all of your hearing by the time you tried it, right? Um, didn't have any gum to try. Didn't have any gum to chew. I'm gonna jump ahead and tell you guys about these things called ear planes. Okay, yeah, ear, like your ear planes. You can get them from like Walgreens, CVS. Um, invest in those. They're little rubber pieces and they look like rubber screws and you put them in your ears and I think you're supposed to do it 30 minutes before you're gonna land. And I think it also said that you can put them on for when you take off. Okay, so I have no clue if they would have helped because like I said, I kind of felt like fluid kind of like in my ear as well. So I don't know if they would have helped, but people say they help with the, the uh, what do you call it, the pressure of the plane. Okay, so try them. They are reusable. Um, and I don't know how you would clean them because remember, you gotta put them back in your ears so you probably wanna buy more than one pair um, just in case they do work and you only wanna use them one time each. Okay, so um, anyway, we sit there, we eat, and he makes the phone call. He's like my brother-in-law, one of one of the two. And uh, we're talking, we're like, yes, we are here. We have arrived. You know, he was telling uh, him about me. And um, I can hear him like, oh, you know, I hope you get better. And I said, me too. Um, but I'm going to tell you, if there was any ever a place that I would want to be feeling like that, with the allergy thing going on, not being able to hear out of one ear, got this little outbreak, you know, on my neck with this band-aid and stuff like that. Um, it would be there. Hawaii is so pretty. Okay, I can say Honolulu, Waikiki, uh, Waikiki is so pretty, you just forget. That, I mean, it's like already troubles like, melt away, and for me, it was health at that time. So, you just didn't care. You know, I'm gonna tell you guys, if it wasn't for that headache that I got from when we landed, um, we probably would have been walking out there the first day we got there because we had plenty of time, plenty of daylight. So um, we ate, got cleaned up, and laid there, watched TV, and crashed. That was the first day. So next day, it's time to go get the rental. And uh, we went, got the rental, and it has um, assist. It was a 22 uh, yeah, well, you know what I mean, 2022 facade. And you guys, lens assist, uh, rear assist, side assist, this assist, that assist. No, no, no. No, no. I want to turn like mostly all that off. Like I said, I don't know if rear assist, if you turn it off, if your rear cameras won't work. I don't know if the two systems have anything to do with each other, but I left that on because I was thinking it can't cause the vehicle behind you to break. Because you know, front assist causes the car to break. And so, um, Lane assist causes the car to go back into the lane, right? If you don't put in the blinker, it'll push you right back into the lane that you're in. So all that has to turn off. Didn't really discover that until we were kind of driving around. And can you imagine if we were closer to a cliff? I mean, yeah, it would have pulled us back over the lane, but still. Um, so we drove around and stuff like that. And um, got to see a lot of pretty places I can't pronounce. Okay, so if you want to see what they look like, then go look for the video that I made. Um, so I think it's like our first time in Honolulu, Waikiki here, something like that. A uh, place that we want things we did to the title, something like that. So maybe I'll put it in the description box. But we did that. And PF Chains, I'm gonna have to mention, this came later, just like three days later. But be careful because they put oyster sauce in like your chain spice and chicken and uh, the green beans, even though it's on a non-seafood list, I think they cook it on the same grill as some of the food that it's not even classified as seafood because I had an instant reaction to the green beans and I don't have that reaction here um, in the mainland. So um, be careful. If you have seafood allergies, then you might not want to eat a pay of chains. And if you do, uh, recommendations. Okay, so you should be okay with the steam rice, the brown rice, uh, fried rice, if you like me, I like fried rice with all the vegetables and eggs out of it, right? Because I'm allergic to eggs. Um, that's the only time I can kind of eat eggs and I'm, I'm okay. Um, but usually I'm like, no, just make it plain. And the honey chicken. I thought that sounded kind of odd until I had it. It is delicious. It's not my new second favorite chicken from Pia Chains. So that, but there is a seafood version of it. So even though it's on the non-seafood list, there's actually a paper that they have. 
there's a seafood version of it. Okay, so hopefully you have a very tinted waiter or a waitress like we did because she caught the fact she came back up. She's like, wait, wait, wait. She's like, and by this time I was just eating rice because I didn't know what else I could eat. And so she's like, did you eat any of that? And I said, no. And it was honey chicken. And she said, um, that's the seafood version of it. And so let me go ahead and just kind of take this back from you and bring out the correct one. The chef said that's the wrong one. So they even have seafood versions of some of the stuff that's on the not seafood list. Okay, like I said, don't take it as, um, <clears throat> excuse me, as like, oh, shrimp, fish, stuff like that. No, 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 no. I'm talking about the sauces that they use. Okay, so be, please be careful. Because some green beans, that messed me up so bad that I think that would have been the first time I would have had to use my EpiPen, which I did have with me. Um, that allergy pill was not kicking in. And now, I see why they tell you to have like liquid allergy medicine on you. But I can't do Benadryl, so I'm gonna have to find something else um, because it, the pill was not helping. Usually, that equate the 24-hour pill, which you guys about, acts pretty fast. Okay, so at least for me, it does. Within like the first two, three minutes, five minutes, usually it's starting to calm down enough where I can like breathe again, stuff like that. So that was not happening, and so I couldn't eat any of the green beans, and I was I was so sad. The uh, fiery garlic green beans, yes, those are my favorite. So I had to give them to my husband. So um, be careful. But that came later. We walked around, and then there's more than one outrigger. But the outrigger that's by Waikiki Beach, literally, like the bottom floor, you walk out and you're on the beach, but you're on like a smaller part of the Waikiki Beach. You're not around all the people where like the palm trees and stuff like that are. Um, very chill. And they do have a restaurant that's outside and a place where you can sit and they have live music. And so you can get food from there, drinks from there. And I don't think you have to actually eat it in there if you don't want to. And I believe there's a pool in there as well, in the outside. So um, that's where we spent a lot of our evenings. And then because I wanted to like dip my toes in the water and stuff like that, we had to get like some, some flip flops and stuff like that. You would think that we had brought stuff like that, but I didn't. And so I needed, like I have a shirt that says Hawaii on it, and then, um, like I said, I got the flip flops, they're so pretty, they say Hawaii on them. And um, then I think we even bought me some shorts or something like that. And I didn't go in, in the water, right? But like I said, no, 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 the ocean's too deep. Okay, I'm that person where the water meets the sand, that's where you're gonna find me. And so we did that. My tie, that little bottle, my knot. Okay, yes, that's right, no, mm -mm. it's too strong. It doesn't have a fruity flavor I thought it was gonna have. Like not, not that much. And instant, almost instant headache for me. So I was like, mm-mm. I have a picture of me holding the bottle, not knowing. Oh my gosh, I sealed that right back up. And I was like, no, you know what, mm-mm. That's too strong. So didn't even finish that. Um, we also, we did eat at that restaurant that's at that outrigger that's right there by part of the Waikiki Beach. And it was like some bread with some uh, cheese on this basil, something like that, or I don't think that was right enough. And then I thought we had something else with the appetizer, but had like a fruity drink from there, and that was fine. I had pictures of that too. And so that was kind of our chill spot somewhat, aside from walking around. And if you hear there's an ABC store on almost every corner there is, and they are very reasonably priced. Okay, so. Um, Yes, the reason why I'm speeding through this is because I really feel like when I talk about the fact that we drove, we got home three days later and we drove back to Vegas, I feel like I've mentioned all of this already. Okay, so I'm kind of speeding through this because there is a trip I have not talked about that will be coming up in video two and video three for a day. Okay, so all the thumbnails will be marked triple day and then like the next video is going to be marked uh, triple day and the day today is and then the day that it's for. Okay, so the next one's gonna be for, like I said, April 3rd. The third video for today is gonna to be for the day that April 3rd was going to cover, which was, I think, day 71, right? And I just remember, that means the day that April 3rd, like I said, was day 61, right? So, got my little paper here, but I remember that. So, um, yes, new trip that I haven't even talked about is gonna be coming up next after this. But, anyways, we also ate and I'm gonna mess this up. Look at the Beppo. And you can pick if you want like a full size, but order, uh, I think it's like small, medium, or large, something like that. 
and they warned that even small or medium could probably feed three or four people. So we had food left over. It was like we hadn't even eaten any part of our dinner. And uh, we ate there. And I don't know if it was my husband's first time, but it was my first time. And let's see, where else did we eat? Oh my gosh. Okay, so about four, maybe five blocks down, um, we stayed at the club, it has a very, very long name, the Club Wyndham Resort something at Waikiki, like it has a really long name, that's where we stayed. And I really didn't mind that the room was kind of small. I mean, the smallest thing about the room, besides the kitchen and the little sitting area next to the kitchen, uh, was the bathroom. But I actually didn't mind because you could kind of reach other things that were on the counter by the sink if you were standing like in the tub. Like say you forgot like your washcloth or something or so. So I did kind of like that. And then there was this little square next to the shower and then there was like a, a rack that I don't know, I guess you could like hang some clothes or maybe if you're taking a shower to, so it can steam but not get wet because it would be protected by the curtain. And so it was a very unique um, bathroom, even though it was small. So I like that. And uh, the view, we didn't have like an ocean view, nothing like that. That was perfectly fine with me. Okay, I'm surprised that I was doing so well. Um, despite the fact that we were in like a tropical place, because remember my allergies were already on me and I had to do a medicine the entire time that we were there that the doctor prescribed to me before we even had left. Okay, so yes, all the days I was on the phone days, all that stuff to tie them off. And eventually we bought like the Robitussin, I think with honey, but I didn't, I didn't use that. My husband opened it, but I didn't have to use it. So um, we brought it back home. But yeah, every day was walking and I learned, you guys, let me tell you, even though sprinkling, the rain is warm, the sprinkles are warm. And um, I think if we go back, I don't know, I don't know, you guys, I don't know if I can take that landing. If I still have my hearing when we land in Vegas, I don't know if I can take that landing in Hawaii and, uh, well, in Honolulu. So um, if we do go back specifically to that island, maybe I'll try the airplanes and see if that helps. Um, I get migraines anyway, and maybe that's why, even though it hurt really bad, maybe that's why I was able to kind of stand it. And, I, and then if you think about it, I kind of didn't have a choice, right? So, um, I'm trying to think. Um, just that fast. <laughs> Forgot what I said right before that. Um, my head's getting hot. <laughs> this beanie, my head's getting hot. And no, my hair is not done yet, okay? Tomorrow is hair dye day and still can't get this cut until next week. Because if I get cut this week, like I said, what was the problem two to three weeks ago? I don't take the prenatals anymore, so my hair doesn't grow as fast as, especially, I, I should say, actually the short side. So it wasn't gonna be grown out enough to get it cut. To have a design. I know you're probably thinking, well, it's gonna get cut low, and the design's gonna get put in it. That's true. But I also think about the fact that I get this side dye black. <clears throat> Excuse me. And so, um, of course, when it gets cut, some of that's gonna get cut off. Okay, but the black just kind of makes the design pop. So once it gets side black tomorrow, then um, still, even though, like I said, I got some stuff coming up this weekend that I wasn't expecting. Um, I'll just have to wing it and wear a hat because, like I said, I don't plan on getting designs for next week. So next, so far as it stands, because I almost changed the appointment, next Thursday, I might already have my design by then, like before I walk. So we'll see. We'll see what day of next week I get cut. But like I said, they get dyed first. Okay, so anyway, um, I was talking about the, oh yes. The blocks, I remember the blocks, four to five blocks away from the hotel. And I just told you guys the name of the hotel, right? Okay, there was this, I think it was a Korean barbecue place. Oh my gosh, you guys. They had some uh, teriyaki chicken and it came with rice and it came with lettuce, which you know, I can't eat lettuce. So I was like, no. And plus, sometimes people put too much, it's like, I didn't order a salad, you know. And so even if I could eat it, I wouldn't have wanted it on there because I didn't want it for the veggies, I wanted it for the meat. And so I got mine without lettuce and it was a lot. It was so much that we had leftovers to take back. And that little fridge, let me tell y'all, that little fridge in the room, it held a lot more than I thought that it would. 
because we still had leftovers from from Buka. So um, ate that the sauce. Oh my gosh! And right next to it is a smoothie place. Okay, so I don't know if I have to. I'm trying to think. Maybe before I start the second video, I'll go in and see if I can find out the name of the place really quick. And so like I said, I'll know it because the smoothie place is next door and they're not the same owners. Okay, so we had a smoothie and stuff like that. And it was so kind of cool because the little birds, they were coming up and waiting to be fed. And they were so cute. I was like, oh, look at the little birds. And I felt bad. And of course my husband was like, no, don't feed them because then they, they'll stay, right? And the little friends were around, so little birdies kind of hopping around. And so then after that, I think we walked around more, even though we had the food. I don't think we took it back to the room and then walked out back, but um, around. But maybe we did. We might have. Um, so we did that. We went to that mall, the time right there. Not where they have like the uh, Louis Vuitton places like that. We actually went further down and part of this like walkway, you're outside. And so to get to the part of that mall, and I turned, like I said, huge. There's, the trees are huge and they're gorgeous in Honolulu. Oh my gosh, they're so pretty. And there was like this uh, seating area down there. And I didn't want to take a picture of people sitting there, but I'm not gonna pass at the moment because we have to keep walking. And so um, I went ahead and snapped the picture and then I got a picture of this building across the street, not knowing that we were gonna end up in that building. Because yes, if you're going through RCI, yes, they're going to uh, try to get you with the whole timeshare thing we're thinking. Again, what did I say yesterday, right? We're owners. I'm not talking about the Lawrence Wolf Resort. We're owners, we got here through RCI, and uh, they wanted us to buy into Wyndham. And I guess I believe Wyndham owns RCI, so, and they're like, oh yeah, you want that RCI fee or whatever, right? To pay like hundred some dollars per year to have a platinum membership. And that's how you avoid having to use like your weeks and stuff like that. And you still use your points. Um, so anyway, I was like, I really don't want to go, you know, on this tour, but we're going to be here for a long time. We're going to be here for a whole week, so fine. And uh, they gave us a like three day, two night stay or something like that that we still have to use. We actually need to register it for something somewhere or else we're going to lose it. And so hopefully it's not where we have to listen to a presentation here too as well. But we did go in the presentation and we were in one building. And then I think that building that I took a picture of not knowing that that was also a window. And then we went across the street and we got to see this room. It was nice. I'm not going to lie. I wasn't too impressed. I was more so impressed with the layout of the overall hotel itself because part of it, you're practically almost like outside but inside. So I don't know what you would call that, like that, what would that be? Um, I don't know if it would be considered an atrium if there is no covering, kind of. So if it was sprinkling, raining, you was gonna get rain and sprinkled on trying to get to your room. And there's different levels, different stairs, stuff like that. So just the uniqueness of the whole building overall is what I like about it. And so we went in there, uh, it was a split wing, so main room on the side, the other two rooms were on this side. And as a matter of fact, it might have been a two bedroom, so it might have only been one room, but with two beds, the problem I'm thinking of. It was already a two from on this side. And like I said, living room, kitchen in between. And I was thinking, this is nothing like the one in Blue in Vegas. Oh, no, 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 mm -mm. Let me tell you, especially if you can go through the RCI, if you're not at home, with Wyndham, I believe the Wyndham Blue got added in. And uh, it's not too far, I think, from the new regular stadium in Vegas. Um, those rooms, by the time you get to two bedrooms, the three bedrooms, you guys, oh my gosh, I think the four bedroom, they're so pretty. And it's like modern and it's huge, especially the three bedroom up this split. Now, I was like, okay, this guest bathroom over here, oh, I'm all about this. It was huge, right? And so, in the main room, you're just kind of like, okay, yeah, there's a tub, whatever, might be a jacuzzi tub, but the bathroom was small, and the room was smaller. You go into the other rooms across, I mean, you're walking across like some waves. Um, I don't know how big that area in the middle is, but it's big. So you're walking, walking, 
walking across to get to the other rooms. And like I said, the guest bathroom is on that side. And you look at the other rooms. And then you look at that bathroom. You look at the other room way across uh, the living room area. And you're just like, what happened? You know, the main room is supposed to be probably, I would say, the biggest room, right? And the biggest bathroom. And so I'm not that, usually I'm not that cozy person. I like space. I have long arms. If I reach up, reach this way, I don't want to end up hitting something. So the overall, we were impressed, though. And the color scheme was like, oh, just like pretty purple, kind of like a little bit toward a light purple somewhat. It was um, like a geometric type pattern, but it was colors you would expect, like a certain shade of blue, a certain shade of, like I said, purple, maybe a certain shade of pink or something like that, or green or something, but it worked. It was very modern. Um, I don't know how to explain it. It's just, you just you just have to see it. Okay, so if you're in a mall like in Vegas, um, what's that one downtown? I can't think of what it's called. If you're there and they try and get you to go and they tell you, okay, we'll take you on like a ride over to the Wyndham Blue, um, especially with all the free stuff you get, and I'm talking about you get, I don't know if they still do it, but we got like 700 and something, 800 something dollars worth of free stuff. Okay, so we got like the buy one, I think, get one half off, I think, get one free at um, Pampas, the Brazilian Steakhouse. And um, that's what we used. That was that trip I told you guys about when my family came. That's what we used to eat there for, uh, I'm trying to think. I don't, I don't know, I remember, it, it might have been for Thanksgiving, I can't remember. So maybe I've eaten at Pampas more than once for Thanksgiving. Now that I think about it. First time I've been with my family, so um, and my husband. But uh, a trip, three day, two night, I think airfare included. And I mean, just you get a whole packet of stuff. Okay, now, if it's the same lady that's still there, I don't know. She's going to offer that she can leave like your first backpack with her. Obviously, I didn't. I said no. And I could have came back and they could have been there, but come on now, I'm not walking away from my backpack or my purse. And I said, no, no, that's okay. I'll carry it. I'll take it with me. And but when you come back, they hook you up. Um, and then you have like, there's some snacks from the mirror. I don't know if they give you like an actual full meal, like they usually do. Like when you go for the grandma's thing, you get at the buffet or something like that. Um, say, like, I'm going to feed you. And so just to see the rooms, even though you, like, even though you know you're not going to stay there, um, they're nice. They are very, very nice. Because once you get past, get to the two and three and up, I love them. Uh, like I said, you will be amazed how big and the view you have. Okay, so like I said, we're talking about Vegas. But we're at 40 minutes and 10 seconds. And so I'm going to stop this oh, 2.66 for distance, 185 calories. And um, I'm trying to debate if I'm going to actually come over here because I do have a oof. Caught me off guard. I do have another plug here to vacuum. Oh, I got a plug here too. I'm thinking, I think I might. We'll see. Maybe not. But oh, I was supposed to go find out if I could find out the name of that Korean food place, right? Okay, so um, the barbecue. Okay, so I'll be right back, you guys, for video two. And I'll see you guys in a couple minutes.